The health of students at Diablo Valley College is at risk. The no smoking policy on DVC campus is openly defied in numerous areas around campus. And the enforcement of this policy is virtually non-existent. The non-smoking students who have to walk past these areas on a regular basis are being exposed to dangerous amounts of secondhand smoke. In the past several years, signs have been put up to warn the students of the no smoking policy, but it seems that they are ineffective in deterring students from smoking on campus. Some students may not even be aware of the danger. We'll take a look at some of the smokers' thoughts on this issue. Do you know about the smoking policy on campus? Um, I have seen a lot of non-smoking signs, but I'm actually unaware of the policy. I don't think they should have a rule about smoking on campus. Have you ever been confronted or stopped by a campus security for smoking in um, places you should? Yeah, they yell at me. They tell me to uh, go to the parking lot or somewhere like not on around campus. Not to this date, and uh, I'm definitely guilty of smoking all over campus, but I've never actually been confronted by any administration. What do you think the school should do about people smoking where they shouldn't? They should probably enforce the rules a little more just to keep you know, the smokers in the area, because if you don't enforce the rules, people are going to fire up their cigarettes wherever they see fit. The studies show that secondhand smoke has been considered extremely harmful to health. DVC health professor Barbara Hewitt explains why. People who live with secondhand smokers are at greater risk of asthma, bronchitis, all lung diseases, heart disease, cancer. Chronic exposure to secondhand smoke is a health hazard. Known, proven fact. What do you think about the smoking policy on campus? I, I think it's unclear if you look at it in our DVC schedule, here's what it says. At Pleasant Hill campus, smoking will be allowed only in the parking lots. Adherence to this policy relies on the initiative of non-smokers to politely request that smokers follow the policy and on the courtesy of smokers to follow the policy. Willful or persistent smoking <laughs> in any area where smoking has been prohibited is a violation of the student code of conduct and can be grounds for disciplinary action. So as, as a smoker, the policy is very unclear and, and that's why they continue to smoke anywhere they want. And as a, other students who don't smoke, I would hope that a lot of us would be a little more proactive and, and politely request that a smoker get the smoke out of your face. Would that mean get your smoking out of my face? Or would that mean, excuse me, um, there's a sign over here. Can you see, could, could you please take that to the parking lot? I don't want to be, I want to be polite here. What do you think should be done to help enforce the smoking policy on campus? I think there needs to be greater consequences. It says grounds for disciplinary action. I don't think there is a consequence. If you ask smokers on campus what will happen if you get caught smoking in a place other than the parking lot, they will probably not know either. Non-smokers also have interesting views on this issue. How do you feel about the smoking policy on campus? Um, I like it, but I don't think it's very like enforced because people still smoke in the quad and around campus. Well, I used to actually smoke, so I wasn't happy with the whole quad thing. Um, actually, around the time that the quad thing happened, I was just starting to smoke, so I didn't have opinions, but it does suck having to like go all the way to the parking lot. Does it affect you walking to class when other people are smoking in front of you? People shouldn't have to be exposed to, you know, um, you know like smoke or whatever. Um, it's really bad for your health, like even if you don't, if you aren't smoking. And also like for people who have quit, it just, um, if they just quit and they're trying to like stay, you know, not relapse into it, it's hard, it's harder if you, if you're around people smoking and you can smell it and you're like, you want to smoke that cigarette, but you can't. Um, well, yeah, cause I have asthma. So like it flares up a lot with all the smoke, especially like from the LA parking lot, walking to BFL and humanities. I don't like it very much. <laughs> I understand the whole quad, not smoking in the quad. This is a, you know, this is where everyone gathers. But like other places, I just think that like it shouldn't. It should be maybe banned in the quad, but not like all the way up until you get to the parking lot. I spoke to police services, and they refused to speak with me. But one lady did say that they had take no part in enforcing the non-smoking policy here on campus. 
Although the issue of smoking has improved over the past couple of years, it is still a problem that needs attention. Students' awareness of the perception of smokers in the business world is necessary. More important is the DVC students' awareness of the health risks of smoking to themselves and to others. Their awareness will be essential in their success in life and in the business world. This has been Justin Karanakolis reporting from DVC.